guys it's Charlotte here back with another video and this one we will be learning how to do rust spots on a freight car so in this one we'll be using some fine tip paint brushes and a couple of different colors of paint um, you know some rust a little bit of black a little bit of brown so just use what you have go ahead and follow along though and we'll get started Okay, as you can see, we are starting with just a uh, lightly washed freight car here to start as our base using uh, the freight car from our previous video. So you can kind of follow along the steps there. So we're just going to start out with some light spots here and there. You want it to be kind of random. You don't want to have any kind of pattern to it because rust is more random on the freight cars. We're going to start out with a larger spot here at the bottom of the door. a little bit of light colored rust along there so if you have more of like an orangey red color paint that would work perfectly So technically this boxcar that we're working on never actually ran, so we kind of have a blank canvas to work on, uh, but I'm shooting for the early 2000s of what I would be modeling, so it's going to have a lot more rust on it. As you can see, it's been patched Union Pacific. As you can see we're continuing to put down some base layers of light rust um, so we'll do a little bit more with them a little bit later on but just make sure they're kind of randomly laid out across the cars use your reference photos again
lighter colored spots of rust on there, we go ahead and go back in with some darker brown and maybe even a little bit of black just to make some variations in our rust colors. So you can go ahead and cover up part of the lighter colored rust to make that variation and then you can do some darker spots of rust on their own also. here I'm adding a couple of kind of like scratch marks in there just like the freight car might have had if it had run along something during service you can also add some scratch marks kind of along where the door would have opened up along the car
right now you can go back over those dry spots of paint that you had and we're just gonna go ahead and use our darker colors those browns and blacks and we're gonna pull that paint down like that rust had bled a little bit with rain guys so this is our finished product so you can see the different rust spots the different color variations that I have going here uh, remember with this you can always add more but it's a little bit more difficult to take off so I would just kind of slowly build your different rust spots add more as needed don't get too crazy with it in our upcoming videos we are going to be finishing up this car so we will be completing the top section of this car adding some paint and rust up there and then we will also be painting the ends of the car where the white band is visible there for the excess height section of the car. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, if you guys have any helpful hints and tips, you can leave them in the comments. Thank you guys.